folks. Shoot in Japan sent me a big box. Come with me, kids, as we unbox this big box. Okay, here it is. Look at this package. Look how big this package is. This is from Shun. He sent it to me from Japan. It took just three days to get here. And what's in this huge package are all the gifts I received from the wonderful people while I was in Japan. It was too much for me, as you could see, to ship it back with me on the airplane. Now let's look inside and look at some of these wonderful gifts received by the good people in Nihon Koku. All right, folks, this is half of that big box. Apparently that big box was two boxes taped together. Two boxes I could not lift on the table because it was too heavy. So I separated the boxes and this is the top box I'm going to open for you! Yeah, 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 that's me kids, opening the box Tony. Now normally I would open the box using my trusty rusty razor, but not this time because Colonel Hunter, Mad Mad Voodoo, Kentucky Colonel Hunter, he sent me a case knife. So I will be using the case knife to open this box kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see what happens. Ooh, Shazam! Is this one sharp knife? Golly gee willikers! Alright, let's see what's in this box. Well, there was so much stuff in that first box that that made for a very long video. So what I did, I took everything out of both boxes and here's the results. Alright, this is the Haitian Tigers baseball section. See? Haitian... <laughs> Tigers baseball, 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 and there's the bats. Now here's an item. I have no idea what this is. So perhaps you good folks can tell me what this is. It comes out like this. And it says over the Haitian Tigers. Uh, I don't know. I don't exactly know what you do with this. Do you bang it? Do you bang it like the bats? I have no idea. So if somebody can please tell me what this is, I'd be very grateful for that. Alright, now over here is the food and chocolate section. Look at this, look at this. God bless the people in Japan with this wonderful food and chocolate day. Now I can be known as Fat Tony. That's me, kids. Texas Daddy, Fat Tony. Over here, we have a tea set. Here are the cups, and there's the uh, teapot right there. See, and you pour the tea out. This is a magnificent tea set. Thank you very much. Now let's look over here. This is a card of the Sakura tree. See how it falls up like that? Isn't that nice? And we have over here a dog. All dogs love trees. All right, over here I have some wonderful gifts. These uh, ornate chopsticks that were given to me by Benny and his wife. However, they also gave me these items. These are what is known as flavored toothpaste. And can you guess what my favorite flavor is? Let's see if we can focus that in. It's chocolate. <laughs> That's chocolate toothpaste. Then there's espresso, caramel, and other flavors. Now if we come over here, this is a uh, coin holder that is made of deer skin. And this was, this was given to me, it's very ornate. This was given to me by the uh, gentleman of the uh, where we had a, an interview, magazine interview, the day of the uh, Osaka conference. Then, if we come over here, you got your Hello Kitty bank. Or, or, uh, well, no, this is not Hello Kitty, but this is a kitty bank 
Over here we have Yakumi and Gokusin. It's a DVD set with a strap for the uh, iPhones. Now over here, let me show you this next item. This item is a stand for the samurai sword that I have. So I had to put it in here. There's that wonderful stand to hold it up. In addition, I was given this patch uh, blending in the American flag and the Japanese flag. This item over here, I'm sorry I forgot exactly what it is, but I will open it up to see exactly what unfolds. Alright, here's a fish banner where I temporarily placed it for this video and I haven't decided yet where to place it. Alright, here are some additional items that were in the package. Men's Aid. That's right, kids. No, that isn't me. But this is the magazine where I will be appearing in the June 14th issue. But I want to show you something. You see? You see? You see that pose? I pose just like... No, not really. <laughs> anyway, then I received this. This was a mouse, is a mouse pad and it's Mount Fuji. And if I don't want to use it as a mouse pad, I have this uh, mounting device here, which I can use to display it like this. Thank you very much for this wonderful uh, gift. I will use it as the display. This here, uh, twirly, and it's a fishy design. I'm told it's for a children's use. Here we go, Asian tiger socks. That's for me, kids. <laughs> This is a, 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 some sort of a cool item you put on your head, I guess if you got a headache or if you're feeling hot. And there's a number, there's a package with a number of them in here. Then we have this. These are coasters. Co different uh, coasters of Japanese designs on there. Very beautiful, thank you so much. Very thoughtful. This, a calendar. See? Now I know what day of the month it is. Thanks for the calendar. I have here an assortment of other items. This, I didn't open it up yet, so I really don't know what it is. This, See, this way I know what kind of food from the sea we're going to eat, kids. It's a laminated. These are Texas Daddy uh, uh, straps or lanyards that you attach to uh, your iPhone or other phone devices. This is a model of a submarine. This is a World War II Japanese submarine, and the historical significance of this is, and I saw a documentary on uh, public TV, I'm pretty sure this is the one where the Japanese uh, commander of this uh, submarine was in a harbor somewhere in South America. Rather than surrender the vessel, he sunk it. But before he sunk it, he had his crew uh, leave the vessel. He went down with the sunken submarine, the captain. That's a very interesting story. I received books. That's me, kids. Reading books. See? Then somebody sent me this, which is called a paper slicer. Now, let me show you this. A paper slicer, it's called, but to me, it resembles a letter open. Isn't this magnificent? Look at this. I've never seen such workmanship like this. I'm pretty sure it's a letter opener, but it's called a paper slicer. I guess you can use it to slice paper when you fold it. That's what you can do, kids. In here, let's see what's in, in here. With that came these scissors. Now, I'm not too sure what these scissors are used for. Uh, as, <laughs> if somebody can please tell me. Is the uh, writing on the box. In case they have it upside down, here it is this way. 
Sorry, folks, for my illiteracy in Japanese lettering. Now, this is very interesting. This was given to me by Mr. Ken, who took us to a cutlery shop in Osaka. And this is a wooden box. I will do a video on that cutlery shop, which is very interesting. And in here is what is known as a, a paperweight. It's wrapped in some cloth. Now, the significance of this paperweight is that it is unique. This is a shop that's been around for 150 years. Each paperweight that they make is different from any other. So it's unique in itself. Then, with that, comes this little device and I think you rest your pen on here or chopsticks I'm not too sure about this these are outstanding gifts from very generous people with warm hearts and I am very humble and honored by such a display and thank you very much Domo arigato gozaimasu alright folks we'll see you God bless you God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And of course, God bless Nihon Koku. And thank you ever so much for being so warm to me and such a good reception while I was in Japan. See you, folks.